Hello everyone and welcome to my video. I'm Dr. Mahdi, football referee in Germany in Munich. Today and in this video I'll explain to you about law 11 in football which is about the offside. I mean offside, the main job for assistant referees. At the end of this video, if you like it, please push the like, press the subscribe button. You can also share it with your friends. Now let's start the video. Uh, first, the offside position. A player is in an offside position if any of their body parts except the hands and arms please note it's very important hands and uh, arms are exception are in the opponent's half of the pitch and closer to the opponent's goal line than both the ball and the second last opponent here and in this image you can see the offside and uh, this guy is second last opponent uh, i mean when uh, we say second last opponent uh, it means the goalkeeper is the first opponent but sometimes no you can ignore the goalkeeper and you can say last opponent uh, both of them are correct uh, number two offenses and sanctions uh, if an offside offense occurs the referee award an indirect free kick where the offense occurred and also when a defending player who leaves the field of play without the referee's permission shall be considered to be on goal line or touch line. I mean it's a goal line and it's touch line. Touch line for the purpose of offside until the, ne the next stoppage in play or until the uh, defending team has played the ball toward the halfway, uh, halfway line and it's outside its penalty area. Mm, an attacking player may step or stay off the field of play not to be involved in active play if the player re-enters from the goal line and becomes involved in play before the next stoppage in play or the defending team has played the ball towards the halfway line and it's outside of I mean it's outside its penalty area the player shall be considered to be uh, positioned on the goal line for the purpose of offside. I mean here. Attacking player should be considered to be here. I mean on goal line. Uh, if an attacking player remains stationary between the goal post, I mean two goal post, and inside the goal as the ball enters the goal, a goal must be awarded unless unless the player commits an offside offense or a law 12 offense in which case play is restarted with indirect or direct free kick uh, number three offside offense uh, here i would like to give you two examples i mean in situ number one in situations where a player in an offside position is moving toward the ball with the intention of playing the ball and is fouled before playing or attempting to play the ball or challenging an opponent for the ball, the foul is penalized as it has occurred before the offside offense. And also the second example, uh, an offense is committed against a player in an offside position who is already playing or attempting to play the ball or challenging an opponent for the ball, the offside offense is penalized as it has occurred before the foul challenge and no offs i mean uh, number four no offense i mean uh, there is no offside offense if a, a player receives the ball uh, directly from a goal kick uh, a ferro in and a corner kick i mean uh, there are uh, no offside for goal kick ferro in and corner kick I uh, hope you found this video useful. At the end, if you have any comment or question, you can write it below in comment section. If you like it, please push the like, press the subscribe button. You can also hit the bell. In this case, you will get notification whenever I publish a new video. And at the end, please don't forget that life is short and enjoy it. Thank you so much and bye.